job is to make you feel the fish in the little grain on the side. Some jolly in the pot. Hi. Ta da! Okay, let's try it. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Naomi Nachman, and this is Sunny Side Up. I'm really excited to introduce my brand new friend we met just a couple of weeks ago, Racha Jaffe. She is a singer, she's a vocal teacher, she's a piano teacher, oh, yeah. and to boot, she's a nurse practitioner. Oh yes. Welcome to Sunny Side Up. Thank you so much for having me, I'm so happy to be here. So let's make the food sing. It's going to sizzle and simmer, I'm so excited. Okay, great. <laughs> Alright, what are we going to be making? So today we're actually going to be making Moroccan fish. I use salmon because that's what my family likes, but traditionally, Moroccan fish is made with either flounder, tilapia, or Nile perch. Okay, so we're gonna start with covering the bottom of the pan, or pot, or what is this called, Naomi? A saute pan. A saute pan with olive oil, just like, you know, a thin layer on the bottom. Like, get it, let, let it get nice and hot. Okay. Okay, excellent. So the oil's nice and sizzling. I add the garlic. You can slice the garlic too. I like to leave them whole. Oh, this is going to smell great in just I like know. a few seconds. Yes, it's amazing. Okay, okay, great. After that, you can either add the tomatoes or the potatoes. So I add the tomatoes. Or as I say, tomato. Tomato, right. Okay. And how many do I need? Um, four to five tomatoes. Oh, um, okay. What's nice about the tomatoes is that it depends how you like things. If you want things chunky, then you put them in whole in quarters. If you like things saucy, you grate the tomatoes. Can I just ask you, I've never seen potatoes in Moroccan, Moroccan fish. fish before. Okay, so one thing about my family, and my husband specifically, who is as, as American as it gets, is that he likes chunky things. So I adapted the potatoes a little bit into the recipe. I like that um, you've made it your own. You yeah, know? yeah, and my, my, actually a really good friend of mine does this as well. Okay, okay, she puts potatoes in and it was her idea to do it, so it's really cool. Okay, um, great. I love when we change things up a little. But the potatoes also add a little bit of a creaminess to the recipe. Like once it cooks for a while, it gets a little bit thicker and creamier. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice touch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you can add the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Then you layer with some peppers. Now, depending on your size and how many people you're cooking for, you can decide how much you're putting in. This is totally comfort food, you know, with a nice piece of challah and trina and rock and fish. What's better, right? Mm. I'm yeah. waiting for Shabbos right now. I know. <laughs> okay. Then after you mix that a little bit, you add the jalapenos. Okay? Okay, we got to talk about this. This is a lot of jalapenos. I know, super spicy. Okay, so one thing is, you can always seed out the jalapenos. Right, so if you don't like it so spicy, you can split them in half, take out the ribs and the seeds. Right. Or you can leave them whole. Can I do like a little bit? Sure, go for it. Whatever. Okay. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> okay. Or how much spice I can uh, handle. Exactly. So for the spices, a tablespoon of paprika, and I'm just gonna sprinkle because that's what I do. A tablespoon of You're cumin. You're like my grandmother. Oh yeah, that's what they say. People, my friends call me for recipes. I'm like, I have no clue. Figure it out. This is what I put in. <laughs> Oh, we have the recipe. <laughs> exactly. I actually figured it out for you. A garlic powder, a tablespoon. Okay, that's a little bit much, but okay. Now um, there's never too much garlic. There's no such thing as too much no, garlic. No, you don't think so? No, we love garlic. Okay. A teaspoon of um, pepper, so you can sprinkle that on. Few, good few amount, a good mm -hmm. grind there. You want yeah. a good grind of pepper. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then, again, depends on your spicy liking. I would just say a, a few flakes of chili pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it's already got all that jalapeno. Yeah, so you don't need to add that much, just very a little bit. Very personal preference. Yeah, and then of course salt to bring out the flavor and everything. Okay, allow me. Yes, please. So the salt really brings out the flavor of the spices. So I need salt to taste, okay? Um, and then it's important to really keep the flame on low so that you don't burn out the the juices from the tomatoes. But if you... I said tomatoes. All right, yay! <laughs> so if you are, they are drying out a little bit, you can just add a little bit the more of the olive oil. Oil, and also you could add a little bit of water as well, okay? If you don't, if you want to limit your olive oil. This smells mm -hmm. incredible. So what I do now is I cover all this and I let it simmer for about an hour. 
The longer the better. So if you have stuff going on in the kitchen and you're there, keep stirring every 20 minutes and just keep letting it simmer. Mm -hmm. So what do we do after an hour? We'll come back and add the salmon. Okay. Okay. After about an hour, your sauce should look like this. Looks amazing. Yeah, and it really depends on how slow you cook it. Sometimes you'll get it a little more greeny, a little thicker. Sometimes you'll get it a little thinner. And it really depends on your style, your speed. As it finished simmering, I added some cilantro. Oh, I love cilantro. If one doesn't like cilantro... You can cut it out. I know, cilantro is like you either hate it or you love it. Love it. Me too. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's, I added the cilantro as it finished simmering. And right now you're going to add the salmon. So these are nice long pieces of salmon. So the salmon is in and we're just going to submerge it? Yeah, submerge it in the sauce so that it really like... And coats it. And gets the flavor of you know, this incredible gravy that you created. Sauce, gravy, dip. Yeah, everything, right? You don't need matbucha when you make Moroccan salmon because this is essentially what matbucha is. And then you let it cook for a good 15 minutes. Open or closed? I close the top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ta-da! 15 minutes, nice and slow. Okay. Okay. Ready to dig in? I so am ready. Wow! That looks amazing. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's Straight from the pot. So uh, just a little tip. How does one know when fish is ready? When you stick a fork in and you push it forward, it's nice and flaky, just like that. Oh, yum. See, it's flake, flaked up. That's how you know that that's ready. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to go take a bite. Let's see how it tastes. Yep. It's warm. Comforting, fresh lemon it's perfect. spices. I actually serve it straight from the pot because the presentation is just like this and it's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm really excited to be able to share your recipe with everyone. It was my pleasure. For more recipes like this, go to kosher.com. Mm -hmm.